Okay, so I just walked around for 10 minutes for the first time. 10 minutes straight, no stopping. It's been getting better. I'm gonna try to push for another 10 minutes, slowly pushing it day by day with these little crutches. Of course, no moral support for my dog, but you know, anyways. I'm gonna get back to these steps and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so now I am finally walking with a cane. A bit longer process, I guess, for rehab, because I thought I'd be able to walk so soon, but walking without it is like really, really difficult. So we'll see how it goes. Um, just take it one step at a time and see what happens. Okay, so right now I'm just walking up and down my driveway, trying to push for like three to four laps, trying to take it slow. So, so far so good. I'll keep you guys posted as normal. Morning everyone. So if you notice, I do have a bit of a new scenery today. My dad sort of rearranged my room to cheer me up during the surgery process. So I kind of relocated the old gym I have. It's actually nice because there's more room in my room. If you recall a couple weeks ago, I've been doing physical therapy exercises, just only like maybe two or three until I'm ready to start the official physical therapy. So today I figured I'd just start this um, rehab journey. Uh, I guess we can call this part one, back to the basics. I figure if I can show a couple like young people, especially teenagers, how rehabilitation is possible, but also how important it is not to think that you're Superman all the time. For boys and girls, just showing them that, you know, teenagers were human too. So I figure I'll document this journey and take it one step at a time. For even people who go through injuries or surgeries, they have to start from rock bottom. I figure I'll show them step by step that it's possible for anybody to start from the bottom, you can start from the bottom, now we're here. Like Drake said, I might cut that out of the video, but you get the point. Just start from the bottom, then work your way up. So for the past two weeks, I've just been walking on crutches. This week, I'm finally able to walk without crutches. However, I still kind of have that, I like to call it the ghetto bounce walk, where I take a step, but then I just lean on one leg and then bounce on the other leg, and then lean on one leg, then bounce on the other leg. So it's been really good for getting my heart rate up. Um, that's been it as far as cardio. As far as weightlifting, I've been doing body weight exercises. Now, I, I look a little skinny, not really. For those who do not know, glycogen is just this bodily substance, which is a form of carbohydrate, polysaccharides, a bunch of biology. But basically, glycogen is that stuff that contributes to making your muscle look more poofier. So when you don't work out, and you don't train your muscles as much, some of the glycogen may be depleted from your muscles, but don't worry, it's not like you're losing a bunch of muscle mass, so don't worry about it. For now, I'm not doing a lot of heavy lifting, just calisthenics. I'm actually doing the stuff I used to do two years ago, pre-fields fitness, so that's been keeping me busy. Ironically, my arms have been getting a good workout because of the crutches, you just hop around, and the action of just pressing around is constantly extending the triceps, triceps brachii, and that is coming back this semester. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, but the triceps are getting worked constantly, a little bit of the shoulders too, maybe even, even a little bit of the lower chest by being hunched over. So that's been keeping my upper body going. And that's the current update for now. Um, rest, elevation, don't walk on it for too long. For anyone who's injured, when your body starts saying, ow, just stop doing it. I figure I'd just take my time and just, we can do this maybe like once, uh, maybe once or twice a month. And I'll just let you guys know each month how I'm doing, what's going on. and. Etc. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or more concerns or more specifics about what's going on, comment. Let me know down below. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay mentally fit, emotionally fit, physically fit, and I will see you all in the next video.